Everybody, Dr. Dave Mark was here and I had a few things that I wanted to share with you that I'm going to put under the category of everyone should know or maybe these are just common sense things that I anticipate everyone would know. But the longer I live on this planet, the more I start to recognize that common sense is not necessarily common and we each have different common experiences. So what one individual might determine to be common to them is completely foreign to another individual. And that's okay. As long as we're willing to learn from one another and take that information for our mutual benefit. So please don't get offended by the term common sense if it's something that you were unaware of. And if it's something that you are aware of, um, hopefully I can add to that information. The reason that I wanted to talk about this one is because I had a patient recently that came in and on my desk I had approximately 15 different drugs that this patient was on. I was a 34 year old individual that, um, well, I don't know any human being that should be on 15 drugs. and. As I was going through this individual's history and seeing that many of the drugs are contraindicated by the lab findings that this individual had, I'm like, okay, there's a lot of mismatch here. In fact, many of the things you're taking are creating some of the issues you're having. And so I'm like, who prescribed each of these so we can get these other doctors involved and, and try and undo this mess so that you can get back to a state of health? So the first thing in common sense in that one is if someone is layering multiple drugs onto you and you're not feeling well, ask a question like, why am I taking these and how do these work with one another? Are there interactions that you're aware of that might be correlated with how I'm feeling? Because that apparently was never really addressed for this person. Now. Some of the things in there were um, literally to mask the symptoms of some of the other drugs, which was appalling to me. So you, out of the, the 15 drugs, one of them was an antiemetic, something to stop her from vomiting. It was in the Zofran family. And they gave her that because she was vomiting up all of these other pills. And I'm like, okay, that would be another common sense moment where if you're feeling bad enough when you're swallowing these things that your body is saying, no, uh-uh, I'm done, wave the white flag. And, and if your physician isn't willing to hear your, your plight, find another doctor. There's a lot of doctors out there, a lot of really good doctors that have great hearts, that care, and they want to help you. So don't feel like you're trapped in the system. You, as the patient, are supposed to be driving your own healthcare bus. And the doctors, yes, they, they might have a lot more information about certain topics, but a lot of them don't have common sense about you or your situation. Particularly, I don't think anybody had taken the time to look at all of the drugs that this poor woman was on. And so just by helping her through that and, and working with those doctors that had overlapped these things and also the pharmacists. The pharmacists should really be looking at these things. If it's coming from a common pharmacy, okay, how many meds are you on? What are the drug interactions? Why do you have three of the same med at different doses and are you taking them every day? I mean, one of the things she was taking, she had three different forms of and so she was overdosing on it. I could go on. I mean, it, it was just appalling the, the malpractice that I saw on my desk. So that is one of those things that I'm just like, okay, I, I can't imagine getting to that point in my life where I was just swallowing things because someone told me to, but many people are in that situation where they've outsourced their health care to someone else and they're no longer owning that responsibility for their own well-being. No one can afford to do that unless you are comatose. So if you're completely unconscious, I'll give you a pass. That, that's when you got to outsource your care and let everyone else take care of you. And God bless you. Hopefully you come out of it and then you can drive your bus again. But if, if you're still alert and hearing these words, start getting involved in your own health care. 
So that, that's the third common sense thing is that we should all know our basic vitals. What does my blood pressure run? How can I stay hydrated? Uh, what is my body fat? What is my, my um, metabolic rate for caloric demand? And what kind of activities do I need to do to, to meet my expenditure and intake so that I'm not gradually gaining weight? And as we age, am I getting insulin insensitive? So these are all things that people should know. And there's certain blood markers that you should know. Everybody should have some basic understanding of what their vitamin D levels are, what their blood sugar tends to run, what their insulin tends to run, how, what their homocysteine is so that you can see how well your body detoxifies and manages inflammation, what your C-reactive protein HS is, because that looks at the inside lining of your blood vessels. So there's core blood markers that everyone should know. That's empowering. And that's really what I want to impart to people is that if you're sitting with your doctor and you've got more drugs getting prescribed to you and you don't feel like you're being heard, that's when you need to start breaking out some digital notes and say, you know what, this might be a lot of information for me right now. So I'm just going to get some digital notes going here. Pull out your phone, turn, it, turn that recorder on and, and just start documenting the event so that you can hear the process and go back and listen to it. Because there might be some golden nuggets there, or you might be able to share that with another physician and they'll say, oh, okay, well, this is what they were trying to do and this is what was missed. No doctor knows everything. We're all humans. You will always know your body better than any other human being on the planet. So rely on yourself knowing that you have to keep a catalog of your health and well-being. It's good to take notes. It's good to collect your files, create a notebook about yourself, because that's going to be your common sense reference guide. This is me. This is the path that my body has gone through. These are the events that have been significant triggers in my life that have caused my health to deviate certain ways. That's really important information for any functional medicine practitioner. We take that stuff and we make a timeline so that we can understand you and hopefully you begin to understand yourself and then you can drive your own bus. So recognize that common sense is not necessarily common to everybody and that it's up to you to be well and every doctor out there probably went into business to help people but then sometimes we lose our way and it's not up to you to make a doctor feel good about themselves. They're there to help you and if it's not happening, find somebody else to answer those questions. Empower yourself. Own your health. Be well. Have a great day.